Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Module 6, Lesson 1, Posing Statistical Questions. So this is an introduction to statistics, and the classwork says, Example 1, Using Data to Answer Questions. Honeybees are important because they produce honey and pollinate plants. Since 2007, there has been a decline in the honeybee population in the United States. Honeybees live in hives, and a beekeeper in Wisconsin notices that this year he has five fewer hives of bees than last year. He wonders if other beekeepers in Wisconsin are also losing hives. He decides to survey other beekeepers and ask them if they have fewer hives this year than last year, and if so, how many fewer. He then uses the data to conclude that most beekeepers have fewer hives this year than last and that a typical decrease is about four hives. So there's our little story there and then we're going to go on and discuss what statistics is. Okay, statistics is about using data to answer questions. In this module you will use the following four steps in your work with data. Step one, you're going to pose a question that can be answered by the data. Okay, so this beekeeper was wondering if other beekeepers were also losing hives. That was the question he posed. So then he would have to determine a plan to collect data. He might go on to a journal of beekeepers or a Facebook page of beekeepers and see where they are and get contact information and maybe randomly choose several of these beekeepers and survey them, ask them if they've lost hives and if so how many so then step three he would take his data that he gathered and graph it and use numerical summary summaries and then finally that would answer the question posed in step one using the data and summaries so you'll be guided through this process as you study these lessons the first lesson is about the first step so lesson one we're going to pose the question what is a statistical question and what does it mean that a question can be answered by data so here's example two. What is a statistical question? Jerome, a sixth grader at Roosevelt Middle School, is a huge baseball fan. He loves to collect, collect the baseball cards. He has cards of current players and of players from past baseball seasons. With his teacher's permission, Jerome bought his baseball card collection to school, or brought it to school. Each card has a picture of a current or past major league baseball player, along with information about the player. When he placed his cards out for the other students to see, they asked Jerome all sorts of questions about his cards. Some asked, what is Jerome's favorite card? What is the typical cost of a card in Jerome's collection? For example, what is the average cost of a card? Are more of Jerome's cards for current players or for past players? Which card is the newest card in Jerome's collection? So those are all the types of statistical questions we can ask. So exercise one through five says for each of the following, determine whether or not the question is a statistical question. Give a reason for your answer. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna define a statistical question again. A statistical question is one that can be answered with data and for which it is anticipated that the data or the information collected to answer the question will vary, okay? So it's a question that can be answered with data, basically, a statistical question. So who is my favorite movie star? For each of the following, determine whether or not the question is a statistical question. Okay, so this is no. Who is my favorite movie star? No, not answered by collecting data that vary. Okay, I'm gonna ask one person who their favorite movie star is, and they're gonna tell me that person and that'll be it. There will be no varying data. So that is a no. What are the favorite colors of sixth graders in my school? So in this one, it could be yes, because colors vary. And in this first one here, it says, who is my favorite movie star? So if I just tell you who my favorite movie star is, okay, that does not collect data from other people. That is the reason the difference of these two. So what are the favorite colors of sixth graders in my school? Now we have a group of people we're going to ask and the colors will vary. Not everybody's gonna say the same thing. So that would be a statistical question. C, 
How many years have students in my school's band or orchestra played in an instrument? Played an instrument? That is also a statistical question, okay? Because the number of years vary. D, what is the favorite subject of sixth graders at my school? This is also yes, because subjects will vary. E, how many brothers and sisters does my best friend have? So if you are just asking one person, he has so many brothers and sisters, that's not going to change. So that is a no, because it's not answered by collecting data that varies. Okay, we are not collecting data that will vary. You ask your best friend how many siblings he has or she has, and the answer is going to be a certain number, and that will not change. Number two, explain why each of the following questions is not a st statistical question. A, how old am I? Okay, not answered by collecting data. That is not answered by collecting data. Okay, you ask how old I am, I tell you how old I am, and I'm done. That's it. Okay, what is my favorite color? Okay, I just have one favorite color, so my it will not vary, so that answer is going to be the same. How old is the principal at our school? Okay, again, not answered by collecting data because our principal, there's only one principal. And that principle is a certain age, and that will not change. Okay, number three. Ronnie, a sixth grader, wanted to find out if he lived the farthest from school. Write a statistical question that would help Ronnie find the answer. Okay, so answers will vary. One possible answer is, what is a typical distance from home to school in miles for students at my school? Number four. Write a statistical question that can be answered by collecting data from students in your class. So think, try to think of one, uh, write it down, and then I'll give you an example. It doesn't have to match to be correct, so the answers will vary, and we'll see how you do. Okay, for example, what is the typical number of pets owned by students in my class? Or, how many hours each day do students in my class play video games? Number five, change the following question to make it a statistical question. How old is my math teacher? Okay, so if we're only asking one teacher how old they are, you're getting one answer, and that is not, a, is not data that we can study. So we would have to ask several teachers. So here's an example. What is a typical age or an average age for teachers at my school? That way you'd be asking several people and then taking their average. Example three, types of data. We use two types of data to answer statistical questions. Numerical data and categorical. So let me underline these. Numerical data, and then we have categorical data. If you recorded the ages of 25 baseball cards, you would have numerical data because the age is years. So if I had a five-year-old card, five card, five is a number, so that would be numerical. If you had a 20-year-old card, then that's another number. Compiling numbers is numerical data. Each value in a numerical data set is a number. If we record the team of the featured player for each of the 25 cards, you would have a categorical data. So if you chose the New York Yankees or the Boston Red Sox or the Florida Marlins, then you'd be choosing teams. You would not be choosing numbers, so therefore that would be a categorical data. Although you still have 25 data values, the data values are not numbers. They would be team names, which you can think of as categories. So with that information, try to do exercise six. Identify each of the following data sets as categorical using a C or numerical using an N. Pause the video, see if you can answer these. And then when you finish, we'll take a look and see how you did. Okay, so here we go. The heights of 20 sixth graders. Heights in inches or centimeters or meters. Those are numbers, so that is numerical. Favorite flavor of ice cream? That could be uh, vanilla or pistachio or chocolate 
Those are not numbers, so therefore that is categorical. Hours of sleep on a school night. So if I sleep eight hours, that's a number. Seven and a half hours, six hours, you get the idea. Therefore, that one is numerical. Type of beverage drunk at a lunch for each of 15 sixth graders. So if they drink orange juice or milk or Red Bull, what they probably wouldn't drink that in school and so forth, those are beverages and those are categorical. They aren't numbers. It didn't say how many drinks do you drink at lunch. It says what beverage do you drink. E, eye color. Well, we could have blue, we could have hazel, we could have brown, we could have green. Those are colors, they're not numbers, so therefore that is categorical. And number of pencils in the desk of each 15, each of 15 sixth graders. We are counting pencils, so that therefore would be numerical. Okay, number seven. For each of the following statistical question, identify whether the data Jerome would collect to answer the question would be numerical or categorical. Explain your answer and list four possible data values. How old are the cards in the collection? Okay, that's age. That could be five years. I could have a card that is brand new, so that'd be zero years old if it was this year's. Um, I could have a really old card. I think cards started being pressed or printed in 1948. So the oldest card would be 70 years old this year. Um, and we could have any number in between. How about 20 years? So there are four examples, and it is numerical. Okay. How much did the cards in the collection cost? Okay. We could get what are called common cards for as little as five cents. We could get a star card for, oh, let's say it was worth $20. Uh, maybe we had a, a really decent card for $100. Or maybe we hit the jackpot and we had a Mickey Mantle card, which it'd be worth $1 million or more because that's the rookie year of one of the biggest players of all time. And his card is worth over a million dollars. Okay, so that is obviously numbers, so that is also numerical. Okay, where did Jerome get the cards he collected? Well, where could he get cards that he collects? On eBay. Um, he could go to a retail store such as, oh, I don't know, Walmart, Target. I'll put Walmart. Um, he could have bought his cards at a pawn shop. These choices came from a class response, so I'm just trying to remember what they said yesterday. And I had to help with some more because they were just starting to say more retail stores. So we could also say um, a card um, show. They have shows that they meet at arenas and a bunch of dealers set up tables and they sell their sports cards and they're called card shows so these are obviously words they're categories they are not numer numbers so this is categorical okay that is the end of lesson one and the introduction to statistics go do your problem set and oh by the way smash the like